I'm Tracy. And I'm Andy. And you guys, The Bachelor it's just keeps getting better. Better and better. So especially this episode. Because they were in... Paris! Paris! Oh, how romantic. Yeah, well, let's say bonjour to our favorite guest. You know, he's not even a guest anymore. He's the third permanent co-host. Get in here, Gordon! Gordon! Yay! Oh, I'm my back. gosh. You guys. Yeah. I had lots of, uh, like, a roller coaster of emotions on this episode. This was a good episode. It was a really it was good episode. really good. So well, now it feels like you're on The Bachelor. Exactly. Yes, and before finally. it felt like you're we kind of, in... like, on, like, the cable version. American <laughs> Tour. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so this episode was kind of crazy because we found yeah. out that it was not just three dates. There were going to be four dates. Oh, yeah, they I shook know. it up. They shook yeah. it up. Two one-on-ones, a group date, and then the infamous two-on-one two -on -one date. Ooh. All right, so we had the first one-on-one -on -one date, and it's yeah. with Lauren B. Who am I right now? I'm passing the Eiffel Tower. Wow. Wow. No, this date. Wow. Oh, this date was edited to be a wow. snoozer. Wow. She kept saying wow, and he kept going, wow. pretty. Wow, look at you that. You guys, it was it's so pretty. awkward. You assumed she'd go home. I totally. I was like, I was certain she was going to go home. And even at dinner, I was like, this is this is going nowhere faster than it was before. Yeah. And then we get kind of this like. But we learned so much about each uh -huh one. Moment. Moment. And as soon as they start talking. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, so Got Ari, it. Ari's was kind of crazy. But we knew, yeah, we knew he know. was with a woman who had two children. Well, yes. Yeah, I was like, okay, he's bringing that back up again. But then he gave us like the big like kabam of like. He had got her pregnant, lost the baby, and before she could even see him, because he was on the road, she yeah, left bye. him. And yeah. then I was like, uh-oh, she's got a story. We find out, bombshell, she's been engaged before. Oh, yeah. yeah but, but I but still kind of was I like, feel like everyone's kind of been engaged. Right? Well, like, it's not like a big that, thing. I mean, maybe I've been engaged. Have you? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> you never know. If you give me your rose, I'll tell you. Yeah. I haven't been engaged. I can't. Never. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so then we go to the group date, which oh, yeah. was in the fabulous Moulin Rouge. Oh yeah. my gosh, which, that was so exciting. How would you feel if you were on that date? <laughs> Horrible. Lots of butts with black boxes was, on them. I was relating to Tia so hardcore. I loved it. I do like her more and more, but she's I love that she was like, and one, and two, I'm done. And yeah, she's like, and I've got it, and I've got it, and I'm out. And I quit. So anyway, so they do their dances, and Becca M, surprisingly, like, yeah. really owned it. And okay, I don't know if you guys noted this, but when she, so she, he picks her, she gets the rose, and yes. she puts on the blonde wig. She looked totally different. She looked like Kate Upton. Can we do a side-by-side? -side? Oh, like, yeah. And that's a mega but, compliment. I like how I just turned as if I was going to be in this. But this is... <laughs> I don't know why. Corey thought it was going to be a side-by-side -side with him. Be Kate no. Upton. Be like, We're Kate not Upton, you, Corey, Kate Upton. and Becca M yeah. in a blonde wig. But mm -hmm. That was hilarious. But so then Becca M got to perform. It was great. But he likes her so much. He said, I think I'm falling for Becca M. Which yeah. we don't usually get from Bachelor this early on. So no, this is, it's that's so early. There's still a lot of women left. We move on to the two-on-one. Oh. And so we knew it was going to be either Crystal, ding, ding. Kendall, or the Jacqueline. Were out. I love that Crystal just owned it, though, towards the top oh, of the, the episode. Beginning. She was like, I'm 100% on the two. I think I have to say this might be one of my favorite two-on-one dates Which ever. is funny. The tension Burn. in the air, though. I mean, props to Kendall. Oh, yeah. Oh, you guys, we saw a difference. Yeah. So they go to the Chateau took the maze. We'll talk about she it. She took the high road. They go to the Chateau, and he's like, OK, you're going to go in the maze. Can you find me? And I like, wasn't his head sticking up That's above it? I was like, it doesn't seem like it's that hard I to find him. <laughs> so Crystal finds him first. They kiss, and then they have this moment. See. It seems like, OK, Crystal, like, he's going to forgive you. And then Crystal makes the age-old mistake of bringing up Kindle. Yes. A number one rule. Yeah. But it was kind of masterful, because it did make him question Kindle and then bring that up. But I love the way that Kendall uh, approached her on it. She was yeah. so classy with it. She yeah. was not, she was She's not like, like combative at all. Well, she yeah, was she like, was great. She handled herself really well. It was very mature. So it looked like she was like trying to have this like really like in-depth conversation yeah. with her and say like, I get it. Like you're coming from this like hard past. And so I, I totally can see get, why you're- I get what yeah. you're doing. Great tease yeah. by him, by the way. Uh, so oh, I yeah. think I need more time. I was like, wait a minute, where's this going? <laughs> like, do it. So anyway, they get there and I'm this whole time thinking by Kendall. But what I love was then Crystal goes, I was thinking about what you said and I think we're a lot alike. And Kendall's like, no, we're not. No, yeah. How are you basing that? Because of how you act. <laughs> exactly. I loved yeah. it so much. You, know, you. Yeah. 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 And then we find out that Kendall bye, gets a rose. Crystal. Yeah. See you later. Bye, 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 girl. bye, bye. And Crystal will probably see you in paradise. Oh, God. Or in the queue. I hope we see you here. here. Cross so, hold on. Let's give her the, let's She's give her the bye. Get up. Keep out of shape. Oh. Oh. You will be missed. Oh, wow. Crystal, no. you were good this season. Yeah. Okay, so then we go. So it's like weird, though, because usually the two on one is the end of the episode. Right. Yeah. And then we still have this one on one date with Jacqueline. It was a weird format. It was, it was weird. But then there was kind of some drama on this Jacqueline date. So then this was like throw me off because she's like talking about her ambitions and how she wants to like go back to school. And he ends up giving her the rose. So they have universities all around the country, right? <laughs> online. Even, even she online. She can do it online. But it was literally University like, Phoenix. she's like, you know, I'm going to be in school for six years. And he's like, well, then I don't know about yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. But so going into the rose ceremony at, the, at that museum, we we have yeah, where were they, Jacqueline has the rose, Becca yeah. M has the rose, and Lauren B has the rose. So I was looking at that group and I was like, Jenna's for sure gone. 
Oh, for sure. So then it came Becca down to Becca Kay and Chelsea, and honestly, I wasn't sure. Yeah, hourly, it's okay. I'm like, you know what? It's Come on, fun. Chelsea, bring it home, Chelsea, bring it home. But deep down, I'm watching it, and I was like, you're like, it's realistically. I'm like, I just got Becca. hosed. But I will say, she, I won aided with her. Yep. I yeah. really liked her she by left the end. Yeah. Chelsea, come visit. Yes, come see us. All right. Well, you have to do the honors, though. Yep. Oh. Do it in cursive. Oh. Bye, Chelsea. Who, I feel else, like she, who else didn't make it? Who else didn't get the rose? Jenna. Jenna was the only other okay, one. We already crossed her out because she didn't really mean anything to us, although I liked her. <laughs> Sorry, so Sorry Jenna. But there, before yeah. we got the tease, we there was the falling about. action with the girls. Oh, yeah. chat. Oh, okay. yeah, which you never see. So he, they cheers. They're going to Tuscany, which seemed great. While they're toasting, toast. and everyone's so excited and whatever, Lauren B is in the back like this. Oh, she had a scowl face. She had a stink eye like no one else. Becca M was, what was she saying? She was saying something about someone. She was talking about Lauren. Lauren. No, they yes. could, they could see her talking to her producer and getting upset. Yeah, they were talking about her stink Becca face. Said, She's uh, gonna crack under pressure. I agree. I also feel like that little smidgen we got of Becca M being mean, she could be the new villain. Well, without no, Crystal, yeah. it's gonna open up the gate to see some other true colors that we haven't Who's seen. Who's our new villain? And we find out that somebody's boyfriend or fiance comes back. Which it has to be. It seems but like I it's Tia, time. I think. Yeah, it's gotta be. Because of the southern accent. Yeah. <laughs> well, a big thanks to everybody for watching. I cannot wait for next week. And don't forget to tune into our recap next week. I gotta go and do my check comment thing. below to tell us what you think. Oh! Okay. Yay, nailed it. This nailed is when it. I go out on the stand. That was take 43. Take 43. I got it. Yeah, I got it. Cheers. You're Camera. a natural. I'm a natural. Make sure to comment. Mm. Oh, I'm good. That was a bad one.